Hey, I'm a teacher, a math teacher, and I use CPS on pretty much a daily basis, and I've run into a few problems. Um, last school year, I installed the newest version, or the most recent version of Workspace. I said CPS earlier. Uh, I've installed the newest version of Workspace, which is 8.01.0042, and I've run into three problems. Um, one of them is with grouping. So if I'm working a problem, say here's a problem, the integral from 2 to 6 of x squared dx, I'll need to do the antiderivative, well, x cubed over 3, and that will be evaluated from 2 to 6. Well, now I've kind of run out of room. I want to keep working down. And what I did in the past is I'll just resize everything to, and shrink it up to give me some more room. I realize I have these arrows that I could arrow down, but that hides the top of the problem, and I want to the students be able to see it the whole time. So what I used to do before I installed this version is I'd be able to select the arrow here and then select everything by clicking this button down here. Then I'll group everything. And then if I select everything again, it looks like I have one item, which I can move it as one item. It'll move around as one thing. But when I try to shrink it, it shrinks it individually. It doesn't treat it as one item. And what it did before I install this update, come on, undo, undo, there we go, uh, is it would keep it proportional. It would shrink it as one item, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't shrink it individually. Now the only way that I can think of to shrink is to capture this stuff in a new page. Um, so I'll do capture in a new page. I'll use Freeform and enclose that stuff, and it will copy it to the next page. So I'm on page 20 now. I was on page 19. And now, with this one, I can resize as an entire item, and it's still legible. So from here, I could keep working, plug in 6, and plug in 2. And in the world of AP Calculus, we don't simplify, so I would stop there. Anyway, so I would like to be able to resize, um, and it's not letting me do that. This is what it's doing. Oh, apparently it ungrouped. Uh, but anyway, the resizing has been an issue for me. Uh, the other one, the other issue is when I'm drawing with my pen, a lot of times, uh, say if I wanted to graph y equals x squared, and my students were confused, see I got there, and they said, okay, and I'll go down into the fourth quadrant, and I'll sit here, and I'll keep my pen on there, and I'll talk to them, are you sure it's the fourth quadrant? No, we'll go to the first quadrant. So, I would continue up, and, and usually, of course, it doesn't do it this time, now that I'm trying to show you, but usually what happens at, is, if I keep my pen on the on the pad. I haven't lifted it up since I drew that last little segment. Now I lift up my pen and I'm not touching my pad. I'm not touching my pad at all and it keeps drawing little lines even though I'm not touching my pad. Uh, so I have to touch my pad again to, un to, to get it to quit and then I will undo to go back to where I wanted to stop. So if I draw a line or any piece and I keep my pen on the pad for a while, when I lift up my pen it continues to draw instead of stopping as it should. So uh, not a huge problem because you can just undo to go back to where you were. So th this doesn't bother me as much as the resizing. The resizing is really my, my main gripe right now is it hasn't resized like it used to. Uh, and then my last problem, and this is another one that really bugs me when I use CPS, uh, I can't use workspace and CPS simultaneously. Uh, let's say I have this question on CPS. Um, uh, the position of a particle is given by this. Find the velocity at 2. So I'll give my students time to work it. And I'll click end. Okay, here we go. There's the right answer. Let's just pretend that not many students got that one right. So I want to work it again. Before I installed the new version of Workspace, I was able to simply select my pen and write on top of this screen. Well, now when I select my pen, it says you must close all CPS windows before continuing. It doesn't allow me to use any of these options. Actually, even if I just click and drag the toolbar, it gives me that error message. So what I have to do now is I have to remember that, pro that function, 3t cubed minus 4t squared plus 8. I close this window, and now I have my workspace. I have to close, I forgot what it was, 4t squared plus 8. Is that what it was? I don't know. So that was my position. Then I would have to work it out. That I forgot what the problem was. I think it may have been minus 4t squared. I'm not sure. But it's, this is why it's annoying, because I forget the problem. And the only way for me to see it is to go back to my CPS program. Um, 
and I see now it's the next problem, so I can't even see it. So anytime, it, it's annoying because I can't write on CPS anymore, which is funny because they're made by the same company. It's not like these are two different companies. It seems like that CPS and Workspace should be able to work hand-in-hand uh, -hand pretty flawlessly. So those are my three problems, CPS not working with Workspace, the resizing issue when you select everything and group it. Uh, what? Oh, no. Great. Hang on just a sec. Okay, close. There we go. Guess I want to fix it. Okay, then the resizing issue where if you select everything and try to resize it, it resizes individually rather than as, oh, now that's just silly, rather than as one big item. And then uh, the little issue where if you draw and you keep your pen down, sometimes it, it just keeps drawing lines or curves all over the page. So if you know if there's a setting that I've messed up, I called customer support about a month ago and they said that it would be addressed within the week and it still hasn't been, there, there are no updates or, or anything to fix these problems. So this is, these are the issues I'm having. If anybody knows what's going on, I would really appreciate your help and thanks for taking